Making a Scene, episode one. Always there's one or two scenes that really stand out and people ask you about them over and over and over again. And when you go to promote them, you get to talk about them a little bit, but you never really get to talk about it in depth. So the scene that we're gonna talk about today is a scene I did from a movie called Monster-in-Law with the amazing Jane Fonda and Michael Vartan. Working with Jane Fonda was one of the highlights of my career. She is such a powerful presence and so in the moment. It is everything you dream of when you're coming up as an actress and you think about working with the greats. This scene, she and I kind of get into a fight towards the end of the movie on mine and Margot Vartan's wedding day. I'm gonna watch the scene and I'm gonna tell you off the top of my head kind of what I remember from filming that scene. So let's take a look. Jane's character walks in and she what has a white that? dress on. What? Where's your bridesmaid's dress? Oh, I gave it to Ruby's daughter. She works at Hooters, she was thrilled. <laughs> Wanda Sykes was amazing in this movie take as well. Take off that white dress right now, or I'll take it off for you. Oh. Don't you tell me what to do! <laughs> you so, did not just poke me! Don't this you one of the most me, you two-bed tramp! Fun oh. scenes I've ever done. Oh my god! Viola, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. Jesus. Shoot. You don't go and slap somebody and then apologize, get some backbone! She really, really went for it. So did I, and then I punched her in the eye by mistake. Oh, right there. Dark. Ouch. God, this is crazy. <laughs> Why don't you just face it? I am marrying Kevin today and there's nothing you can do about it. You face it. You'll never be good enough for him. I have to stop you here because we have to talk about the slaps. We talked about how we were going to do this over and over again. I was so afraid to hit Jane Fonda in the face uh, or hurt her in any way. And really, her character was very much like her and my character at the time was very much like me. I was so afraid of her and she was so brazen and like, just hit me, don't worry about it, it's gonna be fine. And I was like, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hurt you. And she was like, let's just go, just go for it. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna poke you. And I do like this little poke and then she kinda hits me back and then she pokes me back and then the next thing you know, she really went for it on one of those slaps. And when she went for it on the one side, we said, let's just keep slapping each other until, I don't know, until we stop. And the, the scene took on a life of its own in a way that we never imagined. I don't even think we were supposed to slap each other. I just remember afterwards, Jane had a, a blood blister right at the top of her eye. My nail like went up into her eye. like. <laughs> I, I was mortified. I was mortified. I didn't know. I was just, I felt, I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And she was like, it's fine, it's fine. Meanwhile, she had a freaking purple blister that was sticking out of her head. <laughs> and she didn't care. She's such a gangster bitch. I just love her. And, and getting to do this kind of movie with her, doing a romantic comedy with Jane Fonda, you know, we're used to seeing her in these very kind of emotional, gritty roles and everything. And, and I didn't even think she was gonna do this movie. When we had this script and then we thought, you know, who could do it? And she had retired for 10 years and she was coming back to movies for the first time. And this was the first movie she did. And later on, she said she did it because she wanted to work with me. And I was just, I was floored. And to see her in this kind of movie, which is my favorite kind of movie. I love doing all kinds of movies, but romantic comedies are my favorite movies to watch because I'm a hopeless romantic. It was such a joy to see her in this way. And also to be on the set of a romantic comedy, as you can imagine, it is a lot of fun. You get to laugh a lot, you get to try crazy things like that. Probably the other scene from this movie that people talk about a lot is when she takes my face and puts it in the cake. <laughs> so over and over and we were like, well, how are we gonna do this? She goes, I'm just gonna hold your head. You just face plant into the cake as many times as you can. I was like, okay. <laughs> Definitely for me, one of the best times on a set ever. Enter Elaine Stritch. Brilliant, brilliant genius. I think I still recite the line she says, you used to drink wine from a box. And you drank red wine from a box. <laughs> it 
is one of my favorite things uh, from a movie of mine ever. It's hard to steal the scene away from Jane Fonda when she's doing her thing. But Elaine came in and like a veteran and just annihilated. It was such a great day for a little girl like me, monster-in-law. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. This has been Making a Scene, because we be making a scene. See you guys soon. And you drank red wine from a box.